I've done it. I finally completed mapping the entire west. Let me get changed and I'll show you how I did it. Long time no see, guys. It's been a while since we've made a Hall Herald video, but we have an exciting one to get back into the rhythm of things. Our friends over at Practical VR have asked us to make a video discussing their contest and their new app. So this is going to be a little bit of both videos. We're going to have an app preview and we're going to be talking about the contest. First, I'm going to give you a rundown about the contest that they're making. So Practical VR released a new tool called Practical Mapping for developers to implement into their apps. It's a new spatial software that uses dot points and cryptocurrencies, and it's really cool. They have a big future for it. We'll be discussing it on a future podcast where we have Jesse, who works for Practical VR, on our podcast discussing privacy, cryptocurrencies, all that fun stuff. Right about now, details about the contest should pop up. Let's first talk about the prizes. So what the contest is, is you grab your Hollands, you map it an area, and you submit it to them and they can use it for cloud computing and we'll talk about it a little bit more in the app demonstration. So for prize number one is up to $250 flight, MR ticket to build 2018, four star hotel, 5,000 prax, which is their cryptocurrency that they're making, holographic asset bundle, practical swag bag, and a Holo Developer summit ticket. So I mean, first prize is really intense and then they all just get better and better from there too. Uh, I mean, even for number two, even if you just submit one, you get mapping console. If you submit five maps, you get a sticker. If you submit 10, you get a coffee mug. If you submit 20, you get a t-shirt. And if you submit 30, you get a backpack. This video is not sponsored by Practical and we're actually trying to compete in it ourselves. We just thought it'd be really cool to let everybody in the community know so we can get a really big competition going. And I think that's everything. We can go ahead and jump into the app preview. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and open up the Practical Mapping application. And we'll walk through how mapping actually works. Welcome. This app has enlisted Practical's help to create an enhanced scan of your play space. To begin, take a close look at the nearest wall. Great. We found the perfect spot for your new room. This is your tool belt. Look at the highlighted button. Once move mode is enabled, you can quickly gaze again at what you would like to move. Right now, you can move your tool belt or your room, but who knows how you can build your world tomorrow. Looks like I can move my tool belt around wherever I'd like. I'm gonna hug and just leave it right where it is so I don't lose it and forget where it is. Now that your room is all settled, you can bring up your tool belt at any time by simply gazing again at the logo. We'll let you explore all the other cool tools, but first let us introduce you to the practical guidance system. We just call it a wisp. Your WISP will lead you to all the points needed to quickly map your play space. So, follow it and start collecting. Hint, you may have to move a little. Once you've collected enough points, the final point will appear close to the center of your mapped play space. It's your choice to keep collecting points to create a larger play space. They may be worth something one day. Or gaze at the final point. We'll submit your map to the server for some optimizations, and then away you go to see what this application has waiting for you on the other side. All right, where did our wisp go? It's got to be flying around here somewhere. There it is. All right, first point over here. Oh, it's flying over here. All right, let's scan this part. It's got like a cool little mini game, actually, to follow the wisp, walk around. When you're ready, find the final point close to the center of your play space. kind of just follows you around into the areas you need to scan without even having to watch around and be super OCD and figure out what you need. All right, I'm going to take a second from that. I'm going to see what we got. So it looks like we've got 33% of walls, 36% of the floor, 25% of the ceiling, and 43% of the objects. Uh, that just shows you the artificial intelligence technology that they're working on currently, that they can tell what the difference is between objects, the ceiling, and the floor, and the walls, and all of the different stuff. In our options, we have uh, room, uh, scan, help, points. Remember, you can submit. Oops, I just muted her. <laughs> Your map right, there at any time by finding the final point. And move, obviously, where we got taught. All right, the wisp is telling me to go over here, so we better go check this out. All right, another point. Look, we've already almost got one point, and we haven't even been scanning that much. Well, point one point. They say these points might be worth something in the future. We'll see. Well, look how good it is at mapping this little area in right here. Look, it's even got behind the sleeping bag and the gun case. All right, look at all the detail. Look, it's even got back behind here. 
wow, the scanning technology is actually really quite impressive of this app to get those little nuanced details. All right, let's see where is our wisp telling us to go now. Remember, you can submit your map at any time by finding the final point. She keeps telling us to submit our map because for practical mapping, you actually don't need to get a super in-depth map of your area like most apps to get a very accurate reading of your room. Uh, they've built algorithms and mapping data to be able to fill in the spaces you don't actually scan to kind of like a fill in the dots. But I'm slightly OCD, so we will fill in quite a bit of this room uh, just because I like to see how detailed we can actually make it. While I'm filling in the rest of this area, let's go ahead and we can talk about Practical's app and what they're working on and their contest. So Practical is working on building the augmented reality cloud and their first step to that is filling that cloud with data. And that's what the contest's purpose is for, is to give them some test and sample data to work with to work on designing their cloud for all different types of purposes. For instance, one of the cool algorithms that they're working on is for this app, you can actually submit the same location multiple times. So to combat that, they've built algorithms to go in and scan the areas. Even if you move a chair or a desk around, it can still tell if it's a duplicated area. That's really cool stuff when you think about analyzing that much data. You can see the potential of having an augmented reality cloud database. All right, it looks like we've way gone over what we need to. We have 334% of the ceiling, 150% of the walls, 191% of the floor, and 130% of objects. So let's go ahead and submit this up now. Remember, you can submit your map at any time by finding the final point. Oh, there it goes. Take a close look at the nearest wall. All right, so it looks like we have our code to go ahead and submit our spatial map that we've got. And we can go ahead and look it up on the computer. So we'll probably just jump over to computer stuff, add voiceover, and we'll talk a little bit more about how the spatial map works. Uh, that's just the more simplistic side of the app. The contest goes a lot farther than just scanning areas in. Once you have your code, you're going to go ahead and head over to practicalvr.com and go to their leaderboard section. Here you'll see the leaderboards for the competition. You're going to go ahead and enter your code in, hit enter, and you can see here is our map we just created. This is a dot version of it, so it's no longer like the traditional HoloLens mapping where it's all squares and a 3D model. They actually take it and interpret it into it to a dot model, which is a lot more high resolution and which is what they're using in video games and for data purposes. It's a lot easier to analyze. You can also see it's really high resolution. You can see our chair in the office right there. You can see our door as we rotate it around. It's really nice and this is Practicals mapping software handling all of this, transferring it from a 3D object to this dot mesh. You can see right there we have a timeline. We only have about 15 days left in the competition so you guys better get in there and start submitting. The person in first place right now only has about 15 maps. Each one of these rooms that you map in or areas counts as one submission. So you guys better go ahead and get mapping. That'll probably take you an hour or less to map and you get literally hundreds of dollars in prizes. If you get anywhere in the top three, you get really good prizes. So go ahead and get mapping and get your hands on those hollow ones. So that's Practical VR's app. They're working on a lot of cool stuff right now. Um, practical analysis tools for your software the practical mapping app to add into your own augmented reality apps, their own cryptocurrency, and augmented reality cloud computing stuff with this all the spatial mapping data and all that fun stuff. There's lots of cool things that are coming, so stay tuned, go ahead. All the links to the contest are down in the description. We're gonna have Jesse on our podcast next week to talk about all that fun stuff, and we will catch you guys in the next video.